This tutorial is designed to introduce you to Office 365. Office 365 is an internet-based uh, application that you can use uh, for Word, Excel, PowerPoint, all of your familiar Microsoft Office tools. So basically what this means is that all of the documents and things that you work on on Office 365 are saved on a cloud, which is a technical term for a certain type of server or internet um, internet service that allows all things to be stored online. So as before, you would save your documents to your computer or your Dropbox or something like that. Now you just save these things within Office 365. So first I'm going to show you how to log in um, in a couple of different ways and then I'll get into a little bit more about what exactly Office 365 is and how it can be useful to you. So one of the ways that you can uh, access Office 365 is to go to the WCPS website and then if you click faculty and staff and go down to um, employee email login it will um, prompt you to go to the website and then it'll come up it's something like this it's login.microsoftonline.com anywhere from any computer anywhere in the world you can go to login.microsoftonline.com to access your account now since I've logged in on this computer before my WCPS account is already here if it weren't if this were your first time then you would need to log in this way so many of you are probably familiar with this type of login because this is probably what you use for your email um, when we switched to the Outlook, Outlook through Office 365 and got the web-based um, version I, I think that that's what most teachers have used so um, once you log in or once you select your WCPS account it's going to prompt you to enter your um, username or your password excuse me now your password changes anytime that you are prompted to change it from the help desk it changes here as well um, now if you're just at a computer and um, this is how I honestly access it just because it's easier I just search for um, office 365 login in the top search bar and it's the first one that comes up like I said it's login.microsoftonline.com okay so I'm going to go ahead and log into my account and it's going to bring you to the main office 365 portal homepage and from this page you can access your email and a variety of other things so for those of you that are used to using this website for your email you know that you would click on mail here and that would take you to your email for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm not going to talk a lot about the email. Um, just know that if you use the web-based version of your email, there are a few things that you're missing as opposed to if you were to download the program or the client, I believe it's called, to your computer. If you do that, you have a lot more capability as far as scheduling appointments and um, sending emails at a delayed time and things like that. Uh, but for most of uh, our purposes, the, the online website works just fine. Um, so the, I quickly want to just go over the difference between what you see here as install on your Mac and what you see down here. So these things would be the full-blown uh, Microsoft Office 2013 programs. So you can download these items onto your computer and work on d documents on your computer. What we have here in the online area and what makes Office 365 so great is that you have access to a variety of cloud-based um, options. So if I click on Word Online, it's going to pull up something that looks very much like Microsoft Word, what you're used to using on your computer. The difference is that these documents, when I save them, they will be saved to the cloud, which means that I can access them from anywhere in the world by logging into this website. So that's the key difference. The other key difference is that you can invite people to collaborate on these documents, much like you can with Google Docs. So since it's stored on the cloud, more than one person can access them at the same time and you can work collaboratively on the same document. That's the biggest reason that we've been using Google Docs. Um, and so if you are already a Google Docs user, um, then the, you know that you might want to stick with that, but this is another option. Quite honestly, now that I've explored this a little bit more, um, Microsoft Office 365 offers a lot more 
as far as editing and formatting and some of those things when you're working on documents. And again, it does offer the collaborative piece. So Office 365 is a little bit stronger than Google Docs as far as what it offers you. So um, basically, you, would, you could do anything here, like start a new document, um, and then work on it and all of those things. In a future tutorial, I'm going to show you a little bit more about working in each of these and how it compares um, to the work that you're used to doing on your computer. Um, again, the most important thing to note is that this is an online cloud-based application. So all of the things that you do here are accessed via um, the internet. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you a little bit more about the grid boxes, notification settings, how to change your profile, and all of those things for Office 365, and then we'll get into each of the specific applications.